you guys, boys, Master Darius here, and with some Halo 4 gameplay today. Um, this is not my Halo 4 gameplay, it is always Ninja's Halo 4 gameplay. He allowed me to post this gameplay on my channel for Halo commentaries, and um, he told me to also post this on his channel, which I haven't done yet, because YouTube was keep asking me for some dumb ver verification codes and telephone numbers in order for me to log in and actually and actually um, upload the video, but it's pretty dumb. Um, but I wait for his reply to that. Maybe he's gonna have to ask somebody else to post on this channel. Because I'm, I mean, I'm really having problems. <laughs> like, I tried. I mean, I worked on it like 30 minutes to actually do it. It didn't work out so well. I'm gonna have to need a little bit more details. And I might include telephone numbers. But I'm just gonna stalk him, obviously. Um, just in case he does give me it. Um, so yeah. In this video... Well, first of all, in the background you're gonna be seeing some amazing ninja gameplay. Like, um, yeah, obviously he's gonna be shooting some people in the face as well, but he's also gonna be ninja people in the face as well. Stabbing them in the throat. And calling the head off, yeah. There's gonna be some pretty sick ninjas in here, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And yeah, sit back and enjoy the country as well. So yeah, in this video, I'm gonna be discussing just a few more things. I'm gonna tell you guys my favorite parts about next gen Xbox One, and also some Halo 5 stuff, I guess. Um, so first of all, we're gonna be starting with Halo 5. Um, Nothing, there's no news, nothing about that, don't worry. I mean, don't get excited all of a sudden. Um, thing is, I'm just gonna be doing Halo 5 news now as well to promote my channel because simply, um, my channel's now stale again. Like, yeah, it's only, it's only become stale again and stop now at this 111 number and I need it to rise again, so it obviously means that I need to do some new stuff, some more creative stuff and some rather interesting stuff like I did in the past as well so I need some new stuff obviously you're gonna be seeing me posting some more gameplay of Call of Duty Ghost Battlefield 4 and Forza 5 my next video is gonna be Forza 5 by the way gonna post some Forza 5 gameplay it's a great game it's a great game and yeah you're gonna be seeing some more Battlefield 4 gameplay as well later later on and tomorrow probably some extinction plus some normal Call of Duty Ghost gameplay. Um, so yeah. Anyway. So yeah, my favorite part about Xbox One. One, I really, really, uh, well, I really like the, the Kinect in Xbox One particularly. Like, when, when it was announced, I mean, when they were talking about the Kinect, I thought it was going to be, like, Playing awful like it was in the 360 Connect. Like the 360 Connect was just for me useful just to play Connect based games. There's nothing special of rather than that. But then when I actually got my hands on the Xbox One Connect, it became pretty helpful and it was freaking cool. Like um, once I found out all features of a Connect. Wow, it's freaking amazing. Like, you can record yourself. Like, there's some cool things which you can do with Kinect. Like, for example, um, like more console posted on this channel recently, you can, um, you can record a video of yourself with a Kinect. And what you can do in the background, um, you can post another video of yourself. And what you can do is you can, like, do videos of you talking to yourself. I mean, interview again with, your, with yourself, which is pretty cool. And there's a whole bunch of these connect voice commands, which I find really, really cool. Like, um, what I did is, I said, Xbox, connect, I mean, select, Xbox select, and it shows then all connect voice commands, and you can do pretty much everything. You can record some clips, show it to your friends, and online, everybody can see your clips. You can, still, you can tell it to start games, you can do anything, pretty much everything, so it's freaking amazing. <laughs> I, I really like the features of Kinect. 
Well, but also you could play games like you can play games with your connect, even shooters. You can shoot people your hand, I think. And yeah, clear the voice commands in games, which you can do. But I don't want to use voice commands in games much because I don't think they're very really useful. But when you're in dashboard and you want to access stuff, freaking amazing and useful. Also, when you do want to record clips and record yourself. I mean, I haven't recorded myself yet, but I don't have anything else. You can watch TV or connect as well. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. And what else? I what um what other thing I like about the Xbox One? I like the graphics in Xbox One. And um, people saying PlayStation 4 graphics is better, but actually, it's not much of a difference. I would say it's around the same. The f difference, actually, there is a big difference between a PS4's graphics and Xbox One graphics. But I actually like Xbox One graphics more, even though it's 720p. Reason for this being is um, because the Xbox One's graphics are more colorful, and I enjoy color. Color makes games look better and more better and like um uh, hard to explain, bro. <laughs> But it makes makes the game look kind of better in my eyes, and makes it more enjoyable to look at. That makes it. And yeah, <laughs> the Xbox One's graphics are 720p and more, much more colorful. Um, PlayStation 4 graphics are more crispier, but not as colorful as Xbox One. So yeah, and. The other thing I like about Xbox One, the controller. Oh my God, it's amazing. Like, um, I played Xbox 360 yesterday to record this gameplay here and to play with my friend GTA 5, but, um, and yeah, suddenly the Xbox 360 controller felt freaking alien-like to me, my god, it felt so, it feel I, then I freaking realized how different it was on the Xbox One's controller and how much how much better the Xbox One controller is than the 360, so that's freaking cool. Um, so yeah, I really like the Xbox One controller. Freaking comfortable and, and it's precision-like. It's easy for me to use, and I'm used to it now. And I really like the controls, the triggers, I like everything. I like everything. <laughs> and then what I like about the Xbox One itself, the console itself, it looks pretty good, but, um, yeah, in the dashboard, I like the dashboard of Xbox One, you can have, like, 1,000 friends, I heard, I mean, actually, that's a fact, even, sorry, and, in dashboard, there's lots of apps, loads of apps, you can watch TV in the Xbox One, you can use the internet, you can even Skype with your friends, pretty cool, and upload, yeah, do everything, <laughs> Pretty much everything. It's a entertainment console plus gaming console. PlayStation 4, on the other hand, is just a gaming console. But but if people don't have enough money to buy the Xbox One, but they got enough money to buy the PlayStation 4, they'll obviously buy the PlayStation 4. I mean, they might have to then. But if you got enough money to buy the Xbox One, definitely buy the Xbox One. I might be advertising the Xbox One here, but that's. I mean. I think the Xbox One is pretty cool, and yeah, <laughs> and plus, and plus the Roxio HD capture is still compatible on the Xbox One. It's a little bit harder to set up. I mean, not harder, not harder at all. You you can yeah, you use you use less wires. You just use the HD wires, but um, but you have to connect in order for you. To see a to see um, the screen, you have to connect first your USB to the laptop in order to actually see the screen. Sorry, which I couldn't figure out for a while. So yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that's basically it. What I enjoy about the Xbox One, pretty much everything, pretty much all its features. It's a real next-gen console. It's worthy of being called the Xbox of a next-gen console. That's what I'm just saying. But yeah, I'm not saying PlayStation 4 is bad. I mean, a lot of people like the PlayStation 4. It's actually an amazing console as well, but I'm just thinking again, the Xbox One is a little bit more next-gen-like. By next-gen, I mean they put much more new stuff 
in the PlayStation 4 is. To me, the PlayStation 4 is just an updated or much more better console than the PlayStation 3. There's not much next-gen stuff there, apart from graphics at 1080p in old games. And the controller's pretty much next-gen, but other than that, there's not much next-gen stuff in PlayStation 4, like there are in the Xbox 3. Xbox One, but however, the, X the PlayStation 4 is still more powerful than Xbox One, which is kind of hard to believe, but it's true. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.